Hey everybody, I thought I'd put a video out on what I've been currently playing since it's been a giant time sink and I haven't been playing anything else since, and that has been World of Warcraft Legion. Those of you who know, I've been playing for a very, very long time, and I was not impressed with uh, Warlords of Draenor. And, well, Axis did not want to take the risk and jump into Legion. I was excited for it, and I've been playing it since. And here, here's pretty much my breakdown of it. Uh, TLDR, I love it. Uh, for those who want more info, uh, let me break it down. I am a level 110 paladin. Uh, that's my main. Uh, I am finishing the last of the four major zones, and I'm starting the first of the endgame content zones. I have done all of the dungeons. I have seen a majority of content. And I have worked a large amount of time in game. So, essentially what I wanted to talk about is what I love about the expansion and what I don't like about it. First off, the stuff I love. Uh, right off the bat, the it's been very cinematic. It makes you feel like you are a part of the storyline instead of being kind of shoot away in the corner. Uh, a lot of the past expansions have kind of had you there, but you've always kind of been on the sidelines uh, Archimonde was a good example of that, where, yeah, you were there, but Uriel and uh, Garrosh were the ones who kind of took control of that fight. This one, you are the hero. You are the hero of your class hall, and you are the main, like, force for your class in the Broken Isles. Now, there's been a lot of jokes saying, like, well, doesn't everybody become the leader? Doesn't that make you not special? Yeah, if you kind of step aside and think about it, once you hit endgame, everybody has the same weapons as you, and everybody's kind of doing the same stuff. It's it's a little weird, but at the same time, I still find it interesting. It's just like, a lot of very, very strong people are now rallying to be the new kind of force of the Horde and the Alliance, now that a lot of major characters are being killed off. I'm not going to name names, there's not going to be any major spoilers on this. But throughout the main quest lines in these zones, you're seeing characters uh, that you've known throughout lore and stuff. They're appearing. Some of them are disappearing. Some of them are having a major impact. And there's been a lot of great plot twists. Uh, you'll see some footage of one of the zones I'm doing right now. If you don't want spoilers, don't read what's going on with that. But there's um, a lot of really cool stuff going on as far as story. And it all blends into an end of zone instance. Well, you can do the instance at the uh, at any point. Uh, you really encourage to wait until you finish the zone before you do the instance because you have a quest to grab an artifact that goes into the basement of Dalaran that you're collecting for the the main part of this first section of the story. And it all of the dungeons have been fantastic, and each one of them has had a lot of fun mechanics. Uh, some of them are better than others. I think the Return to the Violet Hold, yes, we're seeing new creatures. It still feels like the slowest instance because there's so much downtime. Don't get me wrong, the fights themselves are great, but the trash just feels slow and sluggish. And I think out of all of the instances so far, I think that one is my least favorite. But saying it's my least favorite isn't like saying that I will never want to enjoy that dungeon. There's a lot to go with that, and uh, I'm excited to see that in Heroic to get the achievements. Uh, some of the other stuff, like, there, uh, the Hall of Valor has been my absolute favorite. It's essentially, you go into Valhalla, and you're just going from, like, I think there's eight bosses. Six or eight bosses in that one, and it leads to you fighting Odin. And the fight is hilarious to me, because he's like, finally, a real challenge! And so your group is doing all sorts of mechanics and stuff like that. He's putting runes on you, and, like, you're doing all stuff, you're learning the fight, you're like, alright, this is great. You get him down to 80%. Like, which takes, like, about, like, two minutes. And he's like, alright, good job, guys. Good game. Drops a chest, you get your loot, and he's like, cool, see you later. <laughs> and so, it, it's that, where I was sitting there the first time I did it, and my brother and I were both like, what just happened? And he's like, did we just beat it? And then we got the achievement. I'm like, that is weird. And then they announced recently that he's going to be a boss in the one of the first raids, where it's, like, Hall of Champions, I believe. Oh, totally wrong. Probably I'm totally wrong. But you fight him again, and I think you get him down to, like, 40%. <laughs> and again, he's like, drops chest, peace. So it's, again, it, it's one of those moments that is, like, very memorable. 
Uh, there's been so many moments that I've like been playing that it's just like I've been excited to see stuff. There's a quest line in Stormheim where you deal with uh, some NPCs that just really take advantage of you, and later on you get another quest to get get get, get your revenge. Fantastic, very very fun. Uh, you get some really cool stuff going on with each one of the zones. I think Stormheim's the one that has the grappling hooks. That's really fun. Uh, High Mountain lets you build, like, these Tauren clan up with these three major characters, and you help them progress and become, like, a strong, like, force for, you know, Assault Against the Burning Legion. And it's just, like, each one of these zones has some really cool stuff. And you see some really cool things. Uh, these zones are gorgeous. Um... There's so many moments where I've just stopped what I'm doing and I just get a good long view of like the area because I have like distance settings to max. I'm like, look over there. There's a cool like you know maelstrom thing going on over there, or like there's a giant statue and, and let's go check that out and get the treasure over there. And there's been so many cool things. Uh, my favorite moment of all time though was we were questing in Stormheim and we found 110 rare spawn and. We didn't know what it was. Most of the rare spawns are equal to your level, and at the time, I think we were like 105. And so, Jolly Green and I, we both stop, and we're panicking. We're looking around. We're like, is this an important mob? Is this, like, this is different than anything else we've seen so far. So, we're Jolly Green's quickly, uh, like, typing things up. I'm kind of, like, gauging, kind of seeing how well we can do against this thing, because it's, like, four levels higher than us. And I'm like, crap, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? So he's like, we got to get this. We got to get this. So we tag it, and we're fighting this thing the whole time. And he's he's reading stuff on his monitor. And he's like, oh, this thing is actually going to let you ride it. So what you want to do is you're going to jump on it. And I'm like, no, you want to jump on it. Uh, you're the one that's dealing the most damage. He's like, but you're the one that found it. It's like, so we're like, as we're fighting this rare mob that we think is going to be a mount, we're like debating back and forth who's going to get it. And when it changes over to allow you to jump on it, uh, I, he's like, go. And so I jump on it. I get an achievement that I think is going to be really, really hard to get. And I'm like, yeah, fantastic. And so I got this achievement. I'm riding this thing around and we're, we're just sitting there laughing because it was just one of those experiences we've never had before. And wow. Yeah. You get those like NPCs that give you mounts and stuff like that. But that was like the first time, like it's like in the forest and seeing like a rare mythical animal, like trying to figure out what you want to do with it. It was, it was a blast. It was so much fun. And it's just like, one of the moments that I've never had a while before in the 12 years I've been playing or however long I've been playing. So that that's like my, my story that like really encapsulates what's made me excited for this. Now now being at Endgame, I have a lot of stuff coming up. i got to do all my stuff for rating, so I'm getting to that point. Uh, some of the stuff that I don't like, now we're getting to the, the disturbing part, is I don't like some of the class features. Um... Yeah, they're kind of a refined guild hall, and you're able to do everything through a mobile app now, which allows you to kind of manage it while you're away, and when you come in, you can just focus on playing. That's fine. Uh, I don't like having these characters who you constantly have to refresh and, like, bring them, like, cr recruit more characters uh, in your garrison. I'm sorry, class hall. It, that's not very fun to me. Uh, another thing is some class halls are very large and they're all indoors, so it takes a while for you to get to the like main locations of the uh, class hall. The Paladin class hall is gorgeous. It's probably one of my favorite I've seen so far. Yeah, it's beautiful, but it really is a pain in the butt to navigate because everything is so spread out, and there's a lot of just empty space. Uh, and I've seen other class halls that just get that are like refined and compact that are still gorgeous and still do what you need to do, but it's in a small space. So, that that's what I'm cur currently seeing. Another thing is I think that the skill squish with everybody getting less skills has been kind of a hindrance to some of the classes I've been playing. Playing Protection Paladin, I don't have a high rotation, but then when I switch to something like Retribution or Holy, I have like triple the skills that I need to manage. And I'm like, why can't I have this as a, uh, like a tank? Like, I would like some more, like, kind of intrigue, like, intriguing stuff to it. And it's like, I miss buffs, I miss, there's, there's a few things I miss from older things, I miss auras. And it's just, it feels like it's too simple. Uh, with the artifact system itself, with those kind of skills, it's great. Like, my, I feel my character is evolving as I, like, level up and I increase this weapon I've earned. And that's been fun, I definitely love the abilities I get from that. But less sometimes isn't more. Uh, I do want more complexity in my characters, so that's one thing I'm kind of hoping we see over time is we do get more skills and we do get some more complexity to these characters. But overall, 
I'm enjoying it. I do not regret my purchase in this expansion so far. Uh, around this time, I was just completing uh, Warlords of Draenor up, and I just felt rushed. And right now, I'm definitely having a great time. Uh, so many great moments, so many cool like places to explore, uh, and I'm actually excited to level an ult alternate character. I usually don't do that this early on in expansion, but once I get this first character set up and ready to go, I'm going to level another character because I'm already excited to do those quests again because so many of them are fun. And so many of them are worth my time going back to experience again. So, yeah, it's definitely been been a great blast so far. And <laughs> the reason why not as many videos have been coming out because I've just been enjoying this expansion so much. But those are my thoughts. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the expansion. Are you playing Legion? Is there anything you feel that Legion can improve on? Are you excited for 7.1, which is going to be the return to Karazhan? All that stuff I'm interested in. I just gushed about it for about 10 minutes. So I want to know what other people think and talk about it and see what other people are doing. Uh, are you enjoying your class? Do you think that class isn't good enough? Leave it in the description below. <laughs> Put it in my description of the video. Leave it in the comment section below. I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your comments. And so, I must return to the Broken Isles. And hopefully, I'll see you there. Talk to you guys soon.